Welcome back to module 13 of object oriented analysis and design. We have been discussing about nature of classes, we talked about uh, design by contract and how that can be used in designing interfaces of uh, classes and uh, took an example of the stack class of a stack class to explain the whole idea. Then we uh, also took a look into the visibility aspects of different components of a class, uh, different uh, declarations uh, and noted that primarily there are four kinds of visibility commonly used in object oriented systems, the public, protected, private and package. Continuing on this, um, uh, I would just like to draw your attention to uh, the visibility as is available in different object oriented programming languages. Now, certainly uh, this course is not directly dealing with object oriented programming as I had mentioned earlier, but certainly you all are trying to learn object oriented analysis and design uh, to be able to at the end do programming of the system on some of the common object oriented languages. So, here I have compiled uh, for some of the common uh, languages which are mostly people use. So, if you are using C++, C++ has primarily three uh, different visibility available to public, private and protected both data members as well as member functions. Data members means basically the state variables and the member functions or methods can be into any one of these visibilities. But in addition C++ has a, a, a another kind of visibility which comes through friend. It can declare some function to be a friend or some class to be a friend. A friend will have a private like visibility into the inner of the class and therefore, it is very important to choose the friends very carefully. Whereas, if I if we move to Java, we again have the public, private and protected uh, uh, visibility for the fields and methods, but Java does not have a friend, but it has something similar which is a package, where if you put a set of classes within the same package, they can they are visible to each other. Many of you may be programming in C sharp, which has a very similar uh, visibility structure, public, private, protected for variables as well as methods. But it has an interesting, actually it has two more uh, interesting uh, visibility um, uh, options. One is known as internal, another is known as protected internal. These relate to, these are restricted to the projects in C++, uh, C sharp. That is C sharp as you know is it is managed by dot net. So, any C sharp application you are, you want to develop, you have to define a project. So, all that all the classes you put inside one project has an internal visibility or protected internal visibility. Python on the other hand has only uh, public visibility for its methods, its methods cannot be encapsulated out uh, from others, it is always public, but the member variables can be public, private or protected, there is no other visibility in Python and some of the other languages uh, just for the sake of completeness I have mentioned ADA, small talk and object Pascal. For example, object Pascal is an interesting case where all fields and operations in object Pascal are public. So, it, it is another extreme of an object oriented language which has no encapsulation at all. So, there is a lot of different grades. So, it is depending on uh, which language you are using, it will be good to first quickly study what is the visibility or encapsulation grades that the language support and then understand how should you design your class, how should you design your interface using this visibility information. Let us move on to the other part of the class, we have been looking at the outer view. Now, let us consider the inside view, the inner view. The inside view that is where all our secrets are very carefully protected kept is known as the implementation of a class. So, 
I can say that the implementation of a class is basically the implementation of all the operations of all the methods that the class support. Now, naturally if we want to implement something, we have known that uh, the class will give rise to instances as objects. Objects will have state, behavior and identity. So, behavior is the exposed methods, which is basically what we are carrying in the interface. So, state is what the class will need to represent in terms of the implementation. So, state of an object must have some representation in terms of the implementation of the class. Uh, that will typically have in uh, uh, occur in terms of constants, in terms of variable declarations and typically occur in the protected or private part of a classes interface. Because if it if this uh, representation of the state is put in the public part, then you can understand that outsiders can come in any time and change those values and your state will become indeterminable. So, even though some object oriented languages might allow your uh, variable declarations or data members or fields to be put in the public view, you should be very careful in terms of doing that while you are designing an interface and the corresponding implementation of the class. So, given that uh, let us uh, look at go back to our stack class, we have already seen different uh, interfaces for it. But then suppose you are given to implement this stack class in say C++, all languages will have similar examples. But if you are given to implement this stack class in C++, you could do that using a static array, you could statically define an array and you can use an index marker, which will keep an index of the array to show how much the array has been filled up by the stack operation. So, what you simply do you start with a marker being placed at minus 1, which is outside of the array and then every time you push, you increment the marker and put the element in that array location. Every time you have to pop, you simply decrement the marker. So, that could be one way to implement a stack, but this will certainly mean that um, uh, your stack will be able to take only a fixed, only up to a fixed number of elements at a time because the array is static, it will have a fixed size. So, the alternate could be that you could have a different implementation which will use a dynamic array. So, that you could if required have a bigger array when you have more elements being pushed in and of course, an index marker. Alternately, you could use a linked list. If you use a linked list, then you will need a header to hold that list and that header will act also as a top marker. If you are more advanced C++ programmer, you could use a STL vector and an index as a top marker and achieve the same, same results. There could be other several other alternate implementation designs in terms of the uh, variables, in terms of the data members as well as in terms of the details of the algorithm that you use. But any of the three interfaces that we discussed earlier, you remember we discussed three interfaces based on three different contract schemes that the stack object may have, then any of them can be implemented in any of the above four methods or maybe even other methods. So, you can see that on, on both terms you have a wide uh, set of choice and, uh, but when you go to implement you will have to make sure that your interface is completely honored in terms of the methods that you are inter implementing as well as the contract that has already been given. But the contract will tell the implementation as to what needs to be done to fulfill the contract and the implementation will need to be completely hidden in terms of the private or protected part of the class. So, that if in future from the time that you have implemented the class for the first time, sometime later you want to make a different change in the implementation for some reason or other, the interface will not get affected, the methods will not get affected, the contract will not get violated and in that process the user 
would be able to continue using your object without any difficulty even though the implementation is not uh, is uh, not maintained to be the same so in this module we have introduced the basic notion of design by contract as a powerful design paradigm we'll see that at some certain later points we'll again keep on ref referring back to this and we have discussed the basic concept nature of a class in terms of its interface and implementation and uh, we have reiterated the fact that the implementation and interface needs to be segregated need, needs to be separate and this process of separation can be achieved in various graded manner by using various kinds of visibility that we may use and certainly we will hope to discuss more about this and get more insight when we have introduced the other uh, different uh, relationships of classes and particularly the inheritance and specialization we will see how visibility will control the encapsulation at multiple level to provide you further refinements on the interface and finer control on the implementation.